Good day, you beautiful people. Welcome to Sudas Tech, where we do tech in your life in style. In today's video, we are doing a camera vlog test on the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6. And if you're new to the channel, these are where I test out these phones and the cameras to see just how they perform in real life scenario. We'll also be talking about battery, its features I love, all the stuff that I'd usually look for when looking for a smartphone for me. So with this phone, I'm specifically curious about the camera performance and also the new cover screen features. I also really want to check out all those new AI stuff. Let's go. Shooting with the front facing camera of this phone, it can do 4K. It's a little noisy because we are out and we're having afternoon snacks and doing a work from restaurant type of thing today. Shooting with the rear cameras now, also in 4K. Now these rear cameras are supposedly the good cameras on this phone. This is a 50 megapixel main shooter and a 12 megapixel wide with a new sensor. Both cameras the same ones you can find on the Fold 6. All that means this all should be great footage. And I love that I have a preview of my video on the cover screen. But you also might be wondering why I'm vlogging this way and I'm not setting the phone down. Switching cameras now so I can show you. It's because when you use the flex cam and we're wanting to shoot with these main cameras on the back, turn on that cover screen and pick 16 by 9 because we're trying to shoot horizontally. I don't know if you can see because it's bright out, but on this mode, you can't really shoot in 4K. So as amazing as propping up this phone on a table and vlogging with it, if you're shooting horizontal video, it simply will not do. If you want to do 4K with this cover screen setup, you'd have to tilt the phone, pick out 9x16, and this is how you can shoot in 4K. So that's a workaround, but it removes the whole flexibility of the flex cam. Don't get me wrong though, I still love the flex cam. And aside from the 4K thing, I find it to be very useful. I love how it automatically props up your camera. The flex cam functionality is honestly the same reason why I tend to gravitate towards vlogging cameras that have stands on them, like the DJI Osmo Pocket or the Canon V10. And definitely the flex cam is gonna be amazing for shooting your own photos. Look at this Samsung fanboy with a Samsung Watch Ultra. And all the Matching things. Samsung Watch Ultra. Setting up the fold from the S24. My favorite S24. Yeah. So we're also gonna do like different reviews or videos on these two watches. Like I know you have like a more um, active type of review that you're gonna come out with on Lit. So I'll link that down below and then of course you're gonna get an Issa Dust Tech look at this watch as well. Ooh, portrait video now. It is also 2.44 p.m. and we have 64% battery right here. Uh, it does say that this was last charged 5 minutes 30 mi 5 hours 30 ago and that was around 9.30 so 9.30 to 2 p.m. 64%. 4k on wide with this view and you can do 1x zoom up until 10x and then back to wide now in terms of that cover screen you're seeing this fun new wallpaper i have and yes it's a donut but what's so special about this donut is that it reacts to how you hold the phone or if you touch it and it's just this fun little interactive thing there are also different versions of this like there are emojis or even vegetables you also get more widgets on the cover screen and that's something i've wanted on the z flip devices ever since unlike other foldables in the market like for example 
example, the Moto Razr. The Z Flip doesn't allow you to open apps straight up on this tinier screen. I mean, there is a way around it, but it's a lot of work and installing another app. So ain't nobody got time for that. And all that really means for me is that more widgets on the screen is more functionality on the cover screen right out of the box. And like the Fold 6 design changes on this is more subtle. The one thing that really differentiates the new flip from the old ones, the color on the camera module. Despite those subtle changes, I honestly feel like we've come a long way from the very first flip because as you can see, this is very, very flat. You don't really get a gap anymore. Unfolded, we're being told that that is a smaller crease on the screen. And while I do feel like, yes, that is an improved crease, I don't really mind as much because even with my previous flip foldies, even with a deeper crease, I've said this before and I'll say it again, you don't actually notice that crease anymore when you're using this flip phone. One other notable thing about this phone too though, this now has a vapor changer, a first ever on a Samsung flip phone. What's so nice about this is that it has a camcorder mode. So basically it's part of the flex mode features. You hold it like this and then you get a touchpad on here so it's easier to maneuver and you can record from here, see? And then you can pause, you can stop. It's so cute. It's such a fun shooting experience. It's not the first brand that has a camcorder mode, but it's fun nonetheless. Oh my gosh, what a cutie pie. Hello, hello, with their little hoodie. Hello, 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 hello. 8.31 a.m. and we are at 8% but look what I found. So cute. I feel like this would be a good backdrop for portrait shots. I did take this phone out running too. It's a great little thing to carry for stuff like going on a run because it's so compact. And well, you can shoot your runs with it and even use just the cover screen because this does allow for shooting vertical or horizontal footage, except I forgot to set it and I was completely shooting in square here. Now the thing with this phone is it does have a lot of AI features and this is specifically fun for photos. So for example, this cute photo of a dog that I found in the mall, I can basically use AI and see you can move, remove, resize things. You can turn them into different artistic styles or even just sketch to image. It's, it's pretty cool. For this, for example, first of all, if I wanted to straighten the photo, AI will fill up the edges so it's as easy as that and this is the original edited again you get a watermark for ai generated images now this ai does more than that so you have sketch to image so for example if i want to add a crown on this little pup um, I'm sorry, I love that. There are different crown options. This is the best, I love it. And then, for example, I don't like that people around him are just ruining this shot so I can erase. I love that. These AI erase features are definitely handy, especially for when you're taking photos in a crowded spot stuff like that. It's super useful. When I was out vlogging, there was one feature that I forgot to try. So I basically kept propping up my phone. Of course, it was easy to do the palm gesture to get remote selfies, but I wanted something more. So I was trying to take photos and videos of myself and decided that the best feature to use was single take mode. And that's what I did. But now that I'm back home, I realized that that was wrong. That was Isa, Isa, Isa. That was like five Samsung releases ago. 
What we have on this phone now is the new auto zoom mode and that really only ever activates on flex mode. I know I couldn't find it at first and it's a new feature so that was why it wasn't really top of mind for me. Anyway, let me show you what auto zoom is. So tap this little icon so it will automatically change based on the scene and portrait. So for example, I'm here, I can take a photo but wait, if I decide step out the camera there you go the camera is automatically adjusting to me it's trying to frame me better and this in turn will help shooting your own photos better right some samples those two shots well, three shots. All I did was gesture. I didn't switch anything. I didn't do anything. I never touched the phone. This is a very useful feature if I remember to use it. Now, aside from all that AI, the one feature that I wasn't able to test out with a Z Flip 6 would be the new interpreter mode. Really quickly, if you want a more in-depth look on the interpreter mode, check out my Samsung Z Fold 6 video because I did actually talk to foreign language speakers and I have some takeaways on this new Samsung feature. But let me show you real quickly how it looks on the Z Flip 6. So you have to go to the interpreter app and then you basically get these two windows. You also get cover screen functionalities for this app so you could be saying something and the other person would see whatever it is you're saying let's try anyway that's the only French I know and I think you should just head on over to fold six video if you want an actual sample of the interpreter mode and that was our camera vlog test on the new Samsung Z Flip 6. Let me know what you guys think, but I will say that personally, and as someone who has been using these Z Flip phones, while it does feel like there are no exciting updates on this phone, at least compared to the Fold 6, because they now have a pink one and a very obvious design change, I think that the things that they improved on this phone are the things that a previous Flip user would want improved on. For example, cameras. Though it's missing one more camera from the Fold 6 camera lineup, you're wrapping the same cameras on that phone. I mean, I'm pretty sure there are haters who'll say that I don't need a donut on my cover screen, but it's cute. And as a Flip 5 user, I absolutely love using this phone. Will I recommend for you to upgrade from a 5 to a 6? Not necessarily, but from a Flip 4 to a 6 though, definitely. And I'm not just saying that because we do have a pink Flip 5. That's it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. Also, let me know what type of videos you'd want to see me shoot with this phone. I also still have more Samsung videos coming up. I have a video on the Samsung Watch Ultra and the Samsung Ring soon. Stay tuned. See you later.